Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all tucked up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because we have part 10 of the Twits by the one and only Roald Dahl. And tonight's story is called Mrs. Twit Gets a Stretching. And the big shout out goes to all the followers and likers and lovers and subscribers in the UK and all the other 87 countries around the world, especially on Spotify. And we have now 2019 fans and followers. And as I promised, if there are 2021, by next week, I want to give away 2021 exactly of my books and my stories, like Billy and the Whale or Sabrina, the football genius, or Edithina, or Choco, the chocolate king of the world, or David, the boy who became the gold medal winner. And that's only five or six of the 80 plus stories floating around there. But back to tonight's story, part 10 of the Twits by Roald Dahl. Mrs. Twits gets a stretching. <coughs> Mr. Twit led Mrs. Twit outdoors where he had everything ready for a great stretching. He had 100 balloons and lots of string. He had a gla- He had a gas cylinder for filling up the balloons. He had fixed an iron ring into the ground. Stand here, he said, pointing to the iron ring. He then tied Mrs. Twit's ankles to the iron ring. When that was done, he began filling the balloons with gas. Each balloon was on a long string, and when it was filled with gas, it pulled on its string, trying to go up and up. Mrs. Twit tied the ends of the strings to the top half of Mrs. Twit's body. Some he tied around her neck, some under her arms, some to her wrists, and some even to her hair. Soon there were fifty coloured balloons floating in the air above Mrs. Twit's head. Can you feel them stretching you? asked Mr. Twit. I can, I can, cried Mrs. Twit. They're stretching me like mad. He put on another ten balloons. The upward pull became very strong. Mrs. Twit was quite helpless now. <laughs> With her feet tied to the ground and her arms pulled upwards by the balloons, she was unable to move. She was a prisoner, and Mr. Twit had intended to go away and leave her like that for a couple of days and nights to teach her a lesson. In fact, he was just about to leave when Mrs. Twit opened her big mouth and said something silly. Are you sure my feet are tied properly to the ground? She gasped. If those strings around my ankles break, I'll be, it'll be goodbye for me. And that's what gave Mr. Twit his second nasty idea. And that's the end of part 11 from the Twits. And that's called Mrs. Twit Gets a Stretching. Oh, I'm not sure if I can finish the rest today. Oh, let's do it. Part 12 of the Twits. Mrs. Twit goes ballooning up. <laughs> There's enough pull here to take me to the moon. Mrs. Twit cried out. Take you to the moon? exclaimed Mr. Twit. What a ghastly thought. We wouldn't want anything like that to happen. Oh, dear me, no. We most certainly wouldn't, cried Mrs. Twit. Put some more string around my ankles quickly. I want to feel absolutely safe. Very well, my angel, said Mr. Twit. And with a ghoulish grin on his lips, he knelt down at her feet. He took a knife from his pocket and with one quick slash he cut through the string, holding Mrs. Twit's ankles to the iron ring. She went up like a rocket. Help! 
She screamed, save me. But there was no saving her now. In a few seconds, she was high up in the blue sky and climbing fast. Mr. Twit stood below, looking up. What a pretty sight, he said to himself. How lovely all those balloons look in the sky. And what a marvellous bit of luck for me. At last the old hag is lost and gone forever. And that's the end. Well, of part twelve, I think, of the Twits by Roald Dahl. Mrs. Twit goes ballooning up. On the Lights Up podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.